should you continue receiving the minimum basic salary or raise it up to your employer? Channel, thank you for subscribing. If you've not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Press the notification icon below. You'll be the first to know when I upload a new video. Thank you for coming back to my channel. Thank you for support that has given me so far. Those that have been able to send the comments, thank you so much for those comments. And uh, uh, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm pleased to let you know that I'll be able getting through all the comments and I'll be able to send back to you uh, feedback. Those that have not shared, please share, share this channel to other people so they can know what is happening and the very important information. Um, we are still talking about uh, the minimum wage, we are still talking about the minimum wage and the best things or everything that you should know. The small items, the small untouched points that you did not know about the minimum wage uh, that you should know right now when it was introduced in March 2021. Very many people were just only excited about the basic salary. But remember, it is a lump sum. It was just a lump sum uh, big item which we need to break out in small pieces or in small parts such that people can understand, people can know what is happening or people can know in case of anything, they can know where to go and what to do. What should I do if I'm receiving less than the minimum wage after it comes into effect? Thank you so much for that question. And it was a question coming from Palel. Uh, Palel, thank you so much for that question. Right now, what I need to let you know, Palel, is that all employers in Qatar here are entitled to the basic salary of uh, 1,000. I think starting from the March of uh, the month of March, that is effect 2021, all salaries, all employers we are told to adjust the salary to basic salary with a, a new system. Remember I told you that the salary system here is tracked by what you call the Y, uh, tracked by what you call uh, WPS system, uh, is what is tracked. It is a system that tracks the salary payment. So pretty sure that all the salary that will be deposited, all the salary that will be deposited through the system, they will be uh, running to the basic salary of uh, 1,000. But remember, I told you, remember what I said, that if, for example, right now, you are still receiving, or uh, from the effect of March 20, uh, 2021, uh, let's assume that was your best pay, the, your first pay with the company when the minimum wage was raised up or was increased uh, per the new law and per the article 72 of the labor law. And your employer still pays you below the minimum or the basic salary. Uh, the only advice or the pretty advice that I'll give you, my, my friend is, or my, my viewer, is that uh, my subscriber also, is that raise it out to your employer. Let your employer know that you know the new law. Let your employer know that you know what is happening. You should not keep quiet. Remember what I said. I said the basic salary, or what we call the basic salary, we are looking at the minimum amount of money. An employer or an employee, sorry, an employee is willing to offer his labor to the employer. Or a minimum amount of money you are willing to accept from providing a given amount of work or providing a given service to a particular company or to a particular individual. That can be your sponsor at this time. And when you look at the minimum wage, very many countries in the world in introduce what you call the minimum wage legislations, where they had to introduce a minimum wage. One way is was one way of introduction of the minimum wage. It was to protect the workers itself, much as the employees are also protected. But the main added advantage was to protect the workers. So, if at this time you are still receiving below the minimum wage, I would advise you. In, let your employer know, put it in writing, attach the pay slip that you think we are paid, underpaid, 
according to the new basic law. Put it in writing with the employer. Let your employer know about your payment. If two or three times your employer does not your employer does not listen to you or your employer does not work on your complaint. What you need to do is that you can submit the complaint to the Department of Labor. You can submit your complaint because your, your, labor, your employer has failed to, to, to listen to you for the three or the four attempts you've tried to engage your complaint. Submit it. You can call on the number, which is a toll-free number, which is 16-16-008. It's a free toll number to the Ministry of Labor. You can let them know. You can file it up. That is if the first step was to alert your employer and let him know with proof, with the pay slips. You can email the Ministry of Labor. You can inform at info.adalasa.gov.qa. That is a government website. You can launch in your complaint. They will be able to listen to you. But make sure you have the pay slips that you think we are underpaid according to the basic salary. Have the pay slips with you. That will be, en that will be enough evidence that will help you move along with this. Remember what we say, we are all, as all workers, we are all entitled to the basic pay of 1,000. That is for the eight hours of duty that are worked. Thank you so much. I'll put for you the government website, just right here. Then I'll also put for you the telephone numbers that you can call, the toll-free numbers and let them, the, the, the Department of Labor know about your complaint. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. Those that have not subscribed, please consider subscribing. For any question or for any more queries, please don't, don't hesitate. Uh, put in the comment section below. I'll be able to get back to you. Those that have not subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel. Share out my channel. Share this information to others. Let also others also know about such kind of information. Information shared is wisdom shared. Share it and share it. Let the others also know about the channel. Thank you so much for being there for my channel. Check you out in the next episode when we try to explore everything that we should get to know about the minimum wage and what other small points that we are not touched in the minimum wage.